Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic and today we're going to be looking at another article from Dork Side of the Force here by Jason Burke that was posted about three minutes ago saying Star Wars needs to take its own advice and let the past die. Well, if the past is the most recent past with Kathleen Kennedy and everything else, then yes, I would totally agree with you. But something tells me that seeing what we've seen from Dork Side before, that's not the direction that they're going to be going with this article. So let's dive in. Oh, there's Kyle. Oh my goodness. Can't you just look into this man's eyes and just... I mean, oh my goodness, I just, I, oh, I have to stop. I have to stop. I, I just, I can't, I can't handle that. All right, anyway, don't be fooled. Star Wars problems are one of time. And if the franchise can't figure out what they are and where to go, maybe they should slow it done instead. Slow it done. Slow it. Okay, so again, I've said this before <laughs> that I know, I know I make mistakes when speaking, but I mean, again, this is an, this is a website that's trying to come across as being a legitimate news service in a lot of ways, at least a fan news service. So you would think that they would at least have an editor who would look over these things beforehand. And I've I've been finding these all throughout their articles ever since I've been reading them. So anyway, so uh, slow it down. Slow it down, not slow it done, though. You know, who knows what that means. Anyway, nine, count them, nine Star Wars movies in development with no end in the foreseeable future. Dear Lord, that is terrifying. Anyway, even a frigid splash of ice water to the face in the form of solo a Star Wars story box office receipts can't derail this heist train's quest for corporate profits plunder. Uh, but should Star Wars slow down and rethink its overall strategy? Well, first off, nine films being in production, or at least having you know having that thought out there that there's going to be nine more stories being told, does not mean that's going to be su successful. Again, look at Solo. Solo's losing $200 million dollars at least at the box office look at the downward spiral of the actual episodic series where you had a 700 million dollar loss between the force awakens and last jedi and that's only going to continue to drop if they keep pushing it in this direction so again dork side is once again living in this fantasy realm where they just don't want to really want to admit reality but let's see what they're going to say so we live in forward thinking times only faster is better only more is more Okay, yeah, only more is more, I guess. But time is a fickle thing, whether we're talking about its current state or its passage. And Star Wars has been navigating its time for over four decades now. Man, this guy's a philosopher. I love it. Then don't be fooled. Uh, the Star Wars problem is one that has to do with time. It's one where we have a franchise that wants to move forward at a bigger, faster speed with an avalanche of content and at the same time resistant to let go of what The Last Jedi promised, the past. Okay, once again, though, it did promise the past, and then it didn't give the past. So why do you think it failed? Why do you think it lost $700 million? And again, a lot of people are going to say, it failed? What are you talking about? It made $1.3 billion. Yes, it did. But still, you cannot ignore the fact that that's $700 million less than the previous film. And if you look at Blu-ray sales, it's made less It's made uh, less than half of what Force Awakens did. So this is not a very good direction. So when you talk about this and try and say, well, maybe the past should die, no. The problem was is that they didn't give us the past. The problem is that they didn't give us the original characters who were such great characters. The problem is that the new characters aren't nearly as strong or as great as the old characters either. And so all of these things are what you have to put into account to actually talk about why this movie and why this franchise is starting to lose money now. So again, Lolo, Solo, Lolo, Solo is going to lose $200 million. So once again, just come back to reality, dork side. Again, I, I really do think that I love your I love your name, Dork Side of the Force. I think that's great. And I love that this guy right here is a philosopher. But, I mean, just come back to reality for a second. It'd be really great to, to have you back. All right. Let the past die. Famous words of Kylo Ren. A rich villain filled with complexity or cyberpunk whiny emo brat, depending on which fan you're asking. I don't really think of him as being rich. I mean, I guess he is part of an empire, so I, or at least an empire in the making. So I guess that kind of makes it. But I don't really think of him when I see him as being a rich man. I mean, I, I, just, I just don't see that. But the words are out in the universe, the franchises and the audiences, and they come at a particular point in the film where The Last Jedi already establishes that it's not just another Star Wars movie. Wait a minute. That's it? That that's that's the end of the <laughs> wait what <laughs> there there's nothing more oh okay well um oh well that's that's the end of the article okay well anyway uh Jason Burke um first off this is this is this is 
this is a blog post right here. This really isn't much of a news article. And also, what was the point you were trying to make? You were saying that the past should die. What stats are you going to bring forward? Oh, The Last Jedi failed. The Last Jedi failed because they didn't rely enough on the past because they totally butchered the character of Luke Skywalker. That was not Luke Skywalker on screen. When you even have Mark Hamill during interviews promoting the film saying that, yeah, I talked to Ryan Johnson and said, this isn't Luke. This isn't the person that we were talking about. How did he get here? Well, what we were given on screen does not really explain or really justify why we had this person who was totally different in the previous films and now is totally different. Again, they didn't really give us a good explanation. They did not really bring us through his development as a character. Again, if you want to spend a lot of time on a movie, if you want to spend a lot of time in a movie, spend it on that character. Spend it on a character who actually is well-liked, who actually can bring in people. Because why do you think people went to go see The Force Awakens? Because people heard, oh my goodness, Luke Skywalker is coming back. And what do they do? They saved him for the very end of the movie. And then all of a sudden, the last shot is, oh, he's going to have a much bigger role. And guess what he did? You know what they did? They killed off his character at the very end. So where are you now? You have nothing to to really market this film on. You don't have Han Solo. Again, you don't have... Alden Ehrenreich is not Han Solo. That's why Solo bombed. One of the many reasons why Solo bombed. You don't have Han Solo. Unfortunately, now we don't have Leia either. And now because of you, we don't have Luke Skywalker. So you know what you're probably going to try and do? You're going to say, oh, well, he's going to be back as a Force ghost or something like that. You know, we don't understand the powers of the Force. And you're going to try and make this... You know, you're going to try and fix it But it doesn't change the actual core problems, and that is that the current characters that we have, there's a lot of potential there. Because again, on their face, Rey is not a terrible character. Other than being a Mary Sue, as a character, she's not totally awful. I think that they should just drop this whole, she's just good at the Force because of being good at the Force, which doesn't make any sense. You know, when it comes to... Uh, Finn. Finn was a very interesting character in the first film, and then his character was garbage in the second film. Again, a lot of that's thanks to Ryan Johnson because he made a lot of terrible decisions with that film. But again, we have these characters that if you just had them, if you just promoted the film with Ray, with Finn, with uh, BB-8, with Rose Tico, that's not going to bring in a a lot of people. Again, you're going to have that really decent portion. Again, I won't say majority, but a very strong portion who are not going to go out and support that film. And guess what? Just look at what happened with Solo. When those people don't go to show up to your films, you lose money. Again, when you don't have the core base, when you don't have the core group of fans backing you and supporting you and believing in what you're doing, then you're not going to be able to make any profit. And when you keep on doing that, you're making Star Wars continue to drag its main name through the mud. So no dork side of the force. The past shouldn't die in this situation because the past did die. Luke Skywalker did die at the end of Last Jedi. And guess what happened? People didn't want to go see it again. People gave it terrible word of mouth. It had a less than 50% of Rotten Tomatoes from the audience ratings because people did not like it. It's the most one of the most polarizing films ever. And guess what? That's what Ryan Johnson wanted. He's gone on record saying that he wants to make films that 50% of audiences hate and 50% of audiences love, which is great for a independent filmmaker, but not so much when you're the one that's in heart in charge of Star Wars. Again, you are essentially dragging Star Wars through the mud to the point where it might not be able to recover. Again, you can't just slap Star Wars on it and expect to make money. Again, Solo, prime example. Star Wars is in the title, but you know what? It's losing $200 million. So yes, it is likely that we're going to have Kathleen Kennedy gone. Yes, it is likely that we're going to have some major changes at the top. Yes, it is likely we're going to have some major changes in the overall story elements of this film. But you know what? People aren't going to talk about that. They would rather write garbage articles like this at Dork Side of the Force where they don't even make a point, where they don't even really explain what's going on, and then just ignore reality. And no, it's not about the past dying. Because you know what? You tried that, and it didn't work. So anyway, guys, what do you think about Dork Side of the Force? Do you think that, well, well, you know, you know, at the very least, you know, Kylo Ren, let me talk about Kylo Ren. I have a very... I have a very strained relationship with Kylo Ren. I mean, so does Rey in the film. You know, there's kind of this, you know, abusive relationship type situation, which for some reason people love. But, you know, if it was based in reality, people would hate it because, you know, it kind of just perpetuates the stereotype of, of a woman and, you know, being... Abu- but anyway, but just look at his eyes, though. I mean, can't you kind of under- understand, you know, why? I mean, just look just look at those. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. I mean, I could just, I could get lost in those eyes. What about you? What do you guys think? Do you think you could get lost in those eyes? Please let me in the comments below. I greatly appreciate that. And oh my goodness, I don't want to, oh no, I don't, I don't want to see this a month ago. Huh? I don't want that. But anyway, uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that this is an article that is, you know, should exist? Uh, do you have any thoughts about Dork Side of the Force or the future of Star Wars? Please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button as well. I greatly appreciate it. And also please share this video as well if you like it. And I greatly Appreciate everyone that's been a subscriber, everyone that's been commenting, everyone that's been sharing. It just really means so much to me, and I do really greatly appreciate it. I try and and watch all. I try to read all the comments. You know, try and like as many as I can, respond to anyone. If you leave me a question, a comment, and it's coming from a you know constructive place, 
you know, and, and whether you agree with me or not, I will answer it. So I would greatly appreciate that. And also, you know, if you just want to leave comments too, I, I do read all the comments. So please, you know, keep them coming. So thank you very much, guys. Have a great day. And as always, God bless.